I grinded out Damascus Camo on the new Jack 12 shotgun over the last two nights, and I pulled off clips like this. And this. I also had things like this happen. But it can also do crazy stuff like this. The Jack-12 is not only a good gun to use, it is extremely versatile and really, really fun to use. In this video, I have several class loadout variations for you to try. We're going to be going over the different attachments and configurations, including the frag rounds. And we're going to be going over some of these stats at the end. If you like what follows, make sure you let that YouTube algorithm know by hitting the like button. And you can let me know by checking out some of my other content. Maybe subscribe if you like what you see. You can also leave a comment too. Let's get into it. All right, the Jack-12, otherwise known as the Double A-12 if you played previous Call of Duty games, is a full auto shotgun that you can unlock for free by getting three hip fire kills with a shotgun in seven different matches. And in case you didn't know, you can speed up this process by backing out of a match after you get three kills. Now this thing is a beast in both multiplayer and warzone, that's with and without the ammo conversions. Which by the way, I originally was going to go over the ammo conversions at the end of of this video with my class setups but i'm gonna do something different for this video and go over the class setups first and then we'll do a deep dive into the stats and the attachments for those of you that care and want to stick around for that and you should because there's some interesting data and some pretty nasty stuff going on with some of the attachments so first off my go-to class that works great in both multiplayer and warzone is as follows we have the choke for a tighter spread the one milliwatt laser the 20 round drum mag the stippled grip tape and then either of the three barrels will work i find myself using the torrent barrel the most for better range in a tighter pellet spread but i've also opted for the urban king barrel at times so i can get around the map faster and get up in people's faces but i also like that tighter pellet spread for hip fire more with the choke which is also why I'm using the one milliwatt laser because I'm always hip firing with this. I don't like the five milliwatt laser because I don't like being visible with that thing shining all the time. I also don't think the optimal way to use the Jack-12 is by maxing out its damage range with the full auto and the range values it already has, so I don't really see a reason for the Ford Attack Marauder in this specific loadout. The 20 round mag is more than enough ammo to use in multiplayer and warzone. It gives you plenty of ammo to spray multiple targets down before you have to reload. 32 round drum mag is fun to spray people with, but it's overkill and not worth it for the brutal mobility nerfs that come with it. Even when you try to counteract those mobility nerfs with other attachments, it's still pretty bad and you'll see those numbers later on in this video again. I find that 8 rounds you, you can get away with in multiplayer, but it's just not enough ammo to finish people off consistently in Warzone. Second class I have here is a slight variant of this class. It's with the Dragon's Breath Rounds loadout. This class uses the Forge Tech Marauder this time, the Influx Barrel, the Dragon's Breath Rounds, of course, as well as Stippled Grip and Sleight of Hand. Now, Sleight of Hand, if you are not running a drum mag, I feel is a must because you run out of ammo so quickly with full auto. Also, with the Dragon's Breath Rounds, you do start off with less ammo in your reserve, so I also feel like a Munitions Box or Scavenger for the rest your class is a must have. Most of you know what Dragon's Breath Rounds do by now. I am using the Influx in the Forge Tech Marauder to max out the range to counteract the Dragon's Breath in this loadout. It also gives me a nice tight spread to hit fire if need be, or I could aim down sight, although it is kind of slow to do that with this loadout. Uh, but it is just overall fun to use in multiplayer. I actually don't think it's the way to go if you're looking for a Warzone loadout. I definitely recommend my first class for Warzone. And that 8 round mag again is a big factor. I don't think that's enough ammo to play around with in Warzone. I don't think that extra range and fire damage is going to be that beneficial. Let's talk about the frag round class now. A lot of you are probably looking forward to this. Now I want to start off by saying that frag rounds aren't really that great for infantry. The frag rounds are essentially a slug round with a slower bullet velocity and they explode and then do some splash damage. Contrary to what you may think, 
The frag rounds actually lower your base damage against infantry. It reduces your one shot kill range even further to like within arm's reach. It takes over three plus shots to kill when you're over eight meters out. In a war zone, you're usually taking about three to four shots to kill someone. Uh, but that can be up to 10 shots to kill someone at range. And that means you'd have to reload when you're using the frag round. It also takes a full clip to kill a down guy in Warzone with direct impact kills with the frag round. So again, this isn't that great against infantry and you should not be using it at all against infantry in Warzone. The one good thing that uh, the frag rounds do come with is it will increase your one shot headshot range up to 55 meters and that's without any range modifiers. I think you can go higher than that when you throw on like the influx barrel and the forge tack. And this is far greater than what the slug will allow. You also have to consider the frag rounds give you a slower velocity, so using it at this max range to get the one-shot headshot kill is going to be a hard benefit to take advantage of. You also can't really hit fire the frag rounds because it is a slug round instead of being a pellet spread, and you can't really take advantage of the full auto of the AA-12 because of the recoil, and you'll have to pace your frag shots out just to hit your targets, and it's just not good. I don't really recommend it. The splash damage from the slugs is really mediocre. I mean, I've tried running around in multiplayer and hit firing with this, and I did have some fun. You'll see some clips in this gameplay, but it's just not a practical way to use the weapon. You gotta think of the frag rounds more of a utility weapon. It's like this is the best new anti-vehicle weapon depending on your range in the game. The double A12 with slug rounds takes the same exact amount of shots to destroy vehicles as the Rytec explosive rounds, but you can fire them way faster. It's probably the best new way to take out vehicles in Warzone because launchers will get destroyed by trophy systems. You have to lock on with them. Frag rounds will bypass trophies and all that prevention tech in this game and will just absolutely destroy vehicles in war zones and score streaks in multiplayer. For example, the Rytec would take forever to take down the supply chopper in Warzone with its slower fire rate and you'll have to do the super slow reload too. The Jack-12 can dump two mags into the helicopter in under five seconds in optimum range and things done. So with that in mind, let's go over my class recommendation for the frag rounds. This consists of the Urban King Barrel, the TAC Laser, the ZLR Tsunami Stock, the Stippled Grip Tape, and the eight round frag ammunition. You may have noticed it's all aimed down sight speed attachments except for the frag rounds. This is intended to be used as a secondary that you can quickly pull out, aim, and direct your projectiles to a nearby vehicle or streak as quickly as possible. The short barrel doesn't affect bullet velocity at all. There's no other attachment available for the Jack-12 that affects bullet velocity. And since you don't want to be hip firing this, you just want to focus on maxing out the aim down sight speed. So again, you can whip this thing out, aim down at your target, and fire away. If you want to give this a shot in multiplayer, the only two changes I made was opting for a choke instead of the tsunami stock and then changing the urban king barrel to the torrent barrel. This gives you pretty decent hit fire ability if you're close to someone and then a decent aim down sight feed to be accurate with this. Some of you may be thinking about opting for the five milliwatt laser just so you can just go around and hit fire. But again, it's not optimal. And if you find yourself needing to aim down sights with this loadout without attack laser, you're, you're just going to lose 99% of the time. Lastly, we have the slug rounds, and just don't use them. These have the same issues as the frag rounds. You can't take advantage of full auto with them because you're going to be inaccurate. The slugs also don't really increase your one-shot kill range much at all. That upper chest one-shot range is absolute trash. You're better off just using something like the VLK Rogue with slug rounds, which is a secret sleeper that not many people know about. I did a whole video showcasing the VLK slug capability that you definitely should check out because it's a really fun weapon to use and it's actually pretty viable. So those are my favorite classes I've developed while grinding Damascus on the Jack-12. Give them a try and let me know what you think and feel free to share your own classes down below in the comments. Let's take a hard transition into a deep dive of the stats and attachments to better understand the Jack-12 and why I went with these loadouts and why you probably shouldn't use the 32 round drum mag. And actually, I'm going to trim this down a lot. We're not going to go too in depth on the stats. Cliff no summary here on the stats. It's pretty much the same as the Origin 12, except it has a faster fire rate. So your two shot kills are going to be half a second quicker with the Jack 12 if you're hitting all of your pellets. The only downside to the Jack 12 is, again, it's an amazing weapon, but it's really hindered by its ammo. Again, you only get that eight rounds by default, and I found myself blowing through that ammo quickly, similar to the AS Val, which I just did a video earlier on this week as well. And this can be remedied with one of the two drum mag attachments available. But 
again, you have to be careful because some attachments have major downsides, like the 32 round drum mag. So I ran some movement ADS and pellet spread tests with the barrels and muzzles and ammunition attachments. You can see the movement and aim down sight results on the screen right now. It's mostly your standard stuff. Your short barrel will decrease the ADS by two frames and make you run the fastest as expected. I just want to highlight that the 32 drum mag is extremely slow. Look at those numbers. It's the same with the torrent barrel, but the 32 drum mag even more. The movement speed with a 32 drum alone makes you run almost as slow as the MG34, which is the slowest in the game. Combine that with the torrent barrel and you're going to be moving at a speed significantly slower than the MG34. Even when you try to combine like the 32 round drum with the Urban King barrel to try and balance out that run speed, you're still going to be running pretty slow. Same situation with the aim down sight, although it's not as significant. The only combo you have to look out for with aim down sight speed is when you combine the 32 round and the torrent barrel and the forge tech marauder i don't know why but adding the forge tech marauder specifically is making your aim down sight speed extremely slow now some people may be thinking you know i'm just it's a full auto shotgun i'm just gonna be hip firing all the time i don't really need to worry about aim down sight speed and i'll agree with you on that but you do need to consider this in your loadouts especially when you're trying to use slugs or frag rounds because you will need to aim down sights with those so as I was saying earlier in the video, I think the 20 round drum mag is the way to go. The 32 round gives you a lot extra ammo to work with, but I just think that, <laughs> that speed nerf is brutal. Uh, the last thing stat wise here I have for you is the pellet spread hit fire reduction, which you can see on the screen right now. I think I'm going to leave it at that as for just the deep dive into the stats. I wanted to do this much more, but uh, going over this classes took way longer than I expected it to. So Jack 12 overall solid weapon. I think it's my new favorite shotgun. It's really, really fun to use and really good. But again, VLK Rogue is your go-to if you're looking to use slug rounds and be a long range shotgun. I made that video a while ago. You can go check it out. It'll be linked on the screen right now if you want to. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button. Consider subscribing. Check out some of my other videos and drop me a comment down below on the video. How you doing? Let me know how you're doing down below. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.